Happy Wednesday, back for another workout. Remember to wear your pink in support of cancer and breast cancer specifically. During our accessory, we have what is called ramp ups. That means that each round, you're going to be progressively making it more and more intense. We have two exercises in our ramp up. We have a plank shoulder knee tap, Allie and Kevin are gonna demonstrate what a plank shoulder knee tap is. We ha are in an upward plank position. Your opposite arm is gonna touch your opposite shoulder, and then opposite knee will be brought in and you'll touch it with your opposite hand. We'll do this for a total of 50 seconds. If you need a modification, you'd literally be on your knees and you would just do the shoulder tap portion of that. For the next exercise is called an Irish get up. You can start right from that bottom position on your knees and then you'd put one foot on the ground and then stand up with the other foot, more or less going from knees to standing, holding something in front of you. Allie's gonna demonstrate it if you have a kettlebell, a dumbbell, torpedo, barbell, anything that you have you can step up with. If you don't have anything, you can use a case of water or anything that you have in your house. Or you can use a ball as well and we'll do this for a total of 50 seconds. Your first round of 50 seconds should be nice and slow, and then we'll do it for 40 seconds each exercise, and then 30 seconds, and then 20 seconds. Your goal is to have a similar number of repetitions during each cycle, which means that you really have to go slowly at the beginning, and then really, really go fast at the end, hence how we're going to ramp up the workout as we move forward. We're gonna do a round of 50, a round of 40, a round of 30, and a round of 20 seconds each. We're gonna start our athletes now with that 50 seconds of shoulder taps in 10 seconds. Slow. Go. We are moving slowly for that 50 seconds. You can look at this round as a basic general warm up. Thirty seconds left. Making sure that you are pushing against the ground in that upward plank position and that you're in one straight line between your ankles and your shoulders. We don't want that butt too high in the air. We are switching to an Irish get up in 10 seconds. And Irish get up, get your piece of equipment. And we're standing and then going back to that kneeling position. And we will do this for 50 seconds as well, which would bring us to the minute and 40 second mark. Ten seconds, and then we'll go into 40 seconds of our plank shoulder knee taps, and go ahead. Again, we want to try to get similar rep ranges that we just did in the first round, which means you're going to have to move a slight bit faster this round, and we'll be working into the two minute and 20 second mark. in five seconds. And Irish get ups for 40 seconds. Which will bring us to the three minute mark. Ten seconds. 
five seconds and we're going to move into our shoulder taps for 30 seconds. Now we should be moving faster because we want to hit the same amount of repetitions we did in those 50 seconds. If you get a few more reps, that is fine. Five, four, three, and Irish get ups, 30 seconds. Now we're definitely gonna have to move with a little bit more purpose here. If you need a modification or help, you can hold on to a wall or a door, anything that will help you keep your balance. 15 seconds, and then we'll go into our round of 20, which will be our final round. This is definitely going, going to serve as a warm up. Five seconds. And 20 seconds of your plank shoulder knee taps. That means we're going to have to move here. Let's see if you can keep your coordination and balance in line, 10 seconds. And switch. Make sure that you definitely have your equipment close to you. After this last 20 seconds, which is ending in five, and time. We're gonna- re Same number, every time. Same number every time? Eight, every single time. Alrighty. That took a lot of focus. Now we'll get into our workout, which is a three rounds for time. That means you're gonna complete three, three rounds as fast as possible of 100 mountain climbers, one for one. Athletes just show what a mountain climber looks like. We're in that upper push-up position. Knees are being brought in. Wanna make sure that we're in one straight line between our ankles and our shoulders. Then we'll move on to 15 push-ups. You're gonna keep those elbows in the entire time. If we need to modify, your knees will be on the ground. Your elbows want to stay close to your body throughout the entire range of motion. And then we'll move into 25 air squats. When we're doing our air squats, knees are driving out, nice big chest, nice flat back, breaking parallel. If you need to sit down to an object, which would make it easier for you, you can definitely do that. Or a couch or a chair. We'll do three rounds of that with a 10 minute cap. That means you are working for up to 10 minutes. If you finish before the 10 minute cap is over, you will use that time as rest. And then we'll move on to the strength portion of the workout. Athletes will be beginning in 10 seconds. 100 mountain climbers, 15 push-ups, 25 air squats.
10 seconds remaining. Time. We will move on to the strength portion of the workout. We have four rounds of three minute intervals. There are going to be three minutes on the clock. During those three minutes, you'll be doing a 45 seconds farmer's hold seven bent over rows, seven deadlifts, and seven shrugs. You'll rest with the remaining time. During the strength portion of this workout, it is really meant to be heavy and be able to give you enough rest to recover for your next round. 45 seconds of farmer's hold, let's have our athletes demonstrate what that means. Depending on what you have, you will hold something for 45 seconds. You want to make sure that your shoulders are pinned back as if you're pulling your shoulders back towards one another. Nice big chest, nice and strong upper body, knees locked in, and we're gonna hold this position, don't forget to breathe, for 45 seconds. After you do this for 45 seconds, you'll move into seven bent over rows. So we're going to hinge at our hip, have a nice flat back, and we're rowing up. Again, use something. If not, you can just do it with no weight at all. Just that hold for seven repetitions or more, depending on the heaviness or lightness of your piece of equipment will still be difficult. Then we'll move into seven deadlifts, which should be easier compared to the bent over rows. The bent over rows are gonna be light, or the hard part of the workout, and the deadlifts will be light after that. You wanna make sure that your hips are staying nice and high, a slight bend in your knee, nice big chest, no rounded back. You want a nice flat back throughout the entire range of motion. And then after that, we'll move on to seven shrugs. Seven shrugs is we're standing up nice and tall as if we were in that farmer's hold and we're shrugging our shoulders towards the ceiling. No rounding or rolling. So let's have Kev just go straight up and straight down versus rolling and we're down. Perfect. And you guys can rest. We'll do that for three minutes. You'll rest with the remaining time. If, you have, if, if what you have is too light, I would double the reps. You'll rest with the remaining time and then you'll start again and we'll do that for four rounds. We're gonna allow you to do that on your own. It's really at your own pace and it's not something that you have to necessarily have a clock to. You can kind of gauge it by how difficult it is. You wanna make sure that you have enough rest in between rounds so then that next round could be just as productive. We'll see you guys back here for Thursday's workout tomorrow.